All right, we should be live. Microphone looks good. No capture on desktop. All right, we're back, and we are doing midweek magic, which this week is a phantom omniscience draft. I'm assuming we're drafting against bots, because it'd be weird if we weren't. Um, sit down with seven bots. Pick one card at a time. From rotating packs of mixed-up cards from all throughout Magic Arena, build a 40-card deck. All right, so they did change it from last time. You start with a starting hand of three again instead of the seven that they let us have last time. But it does look like we have cards from everywhere. So my goal is to open Cruel Ultimatum, get it in my opening hand, and cast it every single game and have my opponents concede on turn one because they just lost their three-card hand. I've drawn three extra cards, and everything else horrible has happened to them. <clears throat> but let's see what we get. All right, so we are looking for card draw first and foremost. Oh, wait, this is entirely Thunder Junction. Okay. <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, there does not seem to be any card draw in this pack. The biggest thing we have is Discerning Peddler, and that still requires me to discard a card to draw a card. Um, map the Waste. I, you can run Deserts for the Desert Synergies, but that's about it. Yeah, this pack is very disappointing. <clears throat> it made it sound like you were going to draft from everything. Maybe that's left over from the previous one. Um, turn a creature, a mount, or vehicle. Oh, the other problem is the spree cards. So you do get to add five mana, one of each color, once per turn from the Omniscience Emblem. But spree cards, you only get to ignore the top right corner cost. So you would still have to pay the four for the various spree things on the side of this. Is this just going to be a zero mana 5-5? Five five? Because that's kind of disappointing, honestly. That's like very low power level for something like this. I could see it being the Thornado, because we can cycle it. <clears throat> for the same reason that we can pay the spree costs on things, we can just use the mana from the Omniscience, and it kills a flying, like, bomb creature. Trick shot would be okay. That kills most of the bombs in this format also. Yeah, this is just super underwhelming. Um, it might legitimately be Discerning Peddler just because of the card draw attached to him. <sighs> Shoot. This is a very disappointing pack. I'm not even 100% sure what the correct answer is. Um, we would need to have enough mounts for this thing to get us a card. It does feel like it's probably the Thornado or the Discerning Peddler, because they can both let me draw a card if I need to. Alright, let's take the Peddler. Super, super weak first pack. Alright, we're going to grab Hypothesis now, because that lets me draw two cards, and we're going to have nothing but spells, so we will be able to discard to it. Um, Boombox, we would have to come up with a six mana in order to activate it, so that's not happening. Uh, you can activate, if you can get a land, you can activate it on one mana, because you can cast it for free, add the five mana, tap the land, and activate Boombox. So that's not unplayable at that point, but it does require you to actually run lands. So, I do think it's going to be Hypothesis here. Tiny Bones Joins Up would also be fine. If we're on the play, we get to make our opponent discard one of their cards. That can really hinder their draws, but Hypothesis is probably too good here. Um, <clears throat> I think you can. I think the omniscient actually the omniscience only lets you play it from your hand for free, right? I'm not a hundred percent on that one, but I'm pretty sure that's true. I might just want a consuming ashes then. Although the demonic tutor aspect on servant of the stinger is pretty tempting, honestly. Like, it might actually be serving the Stinger, then. We could also... Oh, no. Decisive Denial doesn't work because they can always pay the three. Unless they've used mana for their Spree card already. Because they can just get the three mana from the Omniscience Emblem. So, yeah. Serving the Stinger or Consuming Ashes, I think... Yeah... Yeah, I think we take the Demonic Tutor and try and make that work. 
Uh, slick Sequence does let me draw a card and deal two damage, but I think we just want C's here. I want as many C's to Secrets and plan the heist as I can find. Um, this thing is okay. Uh, I'm just going to grab a Binding Negotiation. Again, disrupting the opponent's hand in the early game. Um, plus, it's a crime that I'm committing, so... Serving the Stinger. Uh, shifting Grift would be okay, because we're all going to have giant Doomsday creatures, but... Yeah, let's just take another Demonic Tutor and hope I find things worthy of tutoring for. Um, we can recast anything we draw with, like, anything we pick up with this for free, so... That enables things like, um, the Shark to let me draw cards... Yeah, this one's got to be worth it. We only need two out of the five mana that we can get on any given turn to do this, so. And gaining control of their spell and misdirecting the targets for it. Like, if they seize the secrets and we get to return the favor and copy it and stop them from getting to draw the cards, then I think we're doing great, so. Alright, so we're going to take the Thornado now, because that was the other one in that pack that I was considering. <sighs> hmm. All of these are kind of underwhelming. Yeah, I don't think the Helicorcer works. Do I just want the 4-5 then? Maybe. Just take the biggest body. All right. Ooh. Um, we can Villainous Wealth for five. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. We we wouldn't be able to cast it for five. We would have to hard cast it without using the Omniscience thing, because otherwise it will be cast from our hand for zero, so we can't set X. Never mind. Yeah, I'm thinking that we can add five and do it that way, but that's not how that card works. That is not the wording on it. Um... So yeah, just a giant flying hexproof monster then. Hey. Ooh, Malcolm. Malcolm lets us draw cards. We have to spend mana to draw the cards, but he still lets us draw the cards, so. If he wasn't here, I would take Highway Robbery, but. Enduring Light is a little bit tempting. Another return the favor. Return the Favor's got to be really strong. Oh, there's also a Beast Bond Outcaster, though. We currently have the Sphinx, the Prosperity Tycoon, Stagecoach, Ambush Gigapede. And we got the other Return the Favor pretty late from the bot, so yeah, I think we take him for more card draw. Um, There's another one. Uh, Catch-All Removal Spell, Mystical Tether. <coughs> We can use the Omniscience thing to get the mana for Mystical Tether. Ooh. Contractor, Rutstein. It's definitely one of these two. Probably the Contractor. Just draw two extra cards. Too good. <laughs> Infinite free spells. Outlaw Stitcher. But, yeah, I think I'm supposed to take Vault Plunderer. I think. Like, the token's nice and all, but... More card draw, more better. Um, these things are identical, except this Exiles in this format, so... Um, we'll take Terminal Agony, question mark? We'll always have to discard a card for this one is the biggest problem, so it's always just going to be discard... So it's always going to be a two for two... So maybe Terminal Agony? <clears throat> Actually, if I take the Terminal Agony, I can get another one of those. We can use the, um, whatchamacallit, to pay the alternate cost. Uh, take the bigger body here. Ah, it's still not four power, though. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Um, Hindering Light to save my things. Oh, we didn't wheel either of the... 
Alright. Kind of surprised with how late we got the one return the favor. Alright, we have a cool... We also have Roxanne, though, and I'm super tempted to grab Roxanne here. <clears throat> Just have her murder things for existing... Ah, there we go. Krom lets us draw cards, so we're going to take Krom now. Um, Earth of Joe, Rattleback Apothecary. <sighs> take your own death. I might just want Essence Capture. Everybody's going to have free giant bomby things. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I would love an Intimidation campaign. That is, like, the perfect card in this format. Um, buys back dead stuff. Let's us re-buy our spells and get their Enter the Battlefield triggers again. We currently have Vault Plunder, Beast Bond Outcaster, Intimidation campaign if we can't find any targeted effects. Um... Or we get a 4-3 that rebuys one of our smaller dead things like Malcolm. Uh, is it any permanent or is it return target permanent? So we could also get back like a mystical tether or something if our opponent killed it. Uh, armadillo. Armadillo. Much easier to kill in this format because, you know, the spell was free and they always have the three mana. Ooh. I kind of want the shark here. Is that crazy over the second Krom? If we already have a Krom. And we have the nurturing pixie to pick it back up too. Um, Skewer the critics. Humiliate. Lazav. Probably humiliate. Uh, stop cold. Or this town ain't big enough. Actually, we can take this town ain't big enough and bounce our own cool things while still being able to stop our opponent's things if we need to. Target creature gains double strike. Hmm. We might need to kill their enchantment based removal. There's certainly going to be plenty of it floating around. Uh, draws me a card, draws me a card. Eh. Uh. Seven. Alright. So we need to add three more cards from our sideboard here. So we only have 37 cards. So the Raid, the Fling. I guess the Razzle Dazzler. Not super thrilled about that one, but... Alright. Man, we are just going to lose to everybody who opened Cruel Ultimatum. Unfortunate, but not much I can do about that one since... We didn't see it at any point in time. And Villainous Wealth is no cruel ultimatum in this format, sadly. <clears throat> um, yeah. Unfortunately, that is actually the best I can do with what I have. They're trying to figure out if they can pay the ward cost on it, which they can. Yeah, cast spells from your hand without paying their mana cost, so exactly like Omniscience. Um, ah, 
They're going to use that to draw some cards. Yep, that would have been another good one to have. <clears throat> yeah, Moran Sphinx is pretty good. If I get priority before they target anything... I'm going to Consuming Ashes there, Marauding Sphinx. Just pay the three. Nope. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Um, let's let them surveil first so that they don't know they're losing their Sphinx here. Actually, the ability only triggers once per turn. We can wait and make sure they don't somehow have something scarier, like, I don't know, Laughing Jasper or Bonnie Paul or something. All right. We do have a few duds in our deck, so I'm going to hold on to Discerning Peddler for right now, <clears throat> in case we draw one of them. Uh, I wish we had seen Plan the Heist. Uh, our opponent has so many better card draw spells than we do, from what I've seen, and we've only seen like two of them. <laughs> yeah, Metamorphic Blast and Plan the Heist are so much better than <clears throat> my Seize the Secrets and Hypothesis for the most part. <clears throat> On the other hand, they have five, six cards in their hand. Although three of them are new, so the fact that they haven't done anything yet, I was going to say might just be because they haven't done anything yet. cast my second spell. Alright, so we'll cast Krom. Then we will cast the Peddler, which will trigger the Krom, letting me draw a card. And we'll see if we want to discard the card. Oh, perfect. Razzle Dazzler is one of our weaker cards, so we do now get to discard it and draw a fresh card. Alright, if my creatures live, we'll play that next turn and attack for a bunch of damage. But, given that they haven't cast anything... Okay. I was going to say they might not have anything here. Except removal spells. Yeah, they definitely have stuff. It's just... It's probably all removal, so... They cast him first, so they have nothing else they want to cast. Yeah, that guy potentially makes a huge token. Like, I did think about him, but we had a card draw. Yeah, that's going to work, because they can... It, they do have to pay the mana for it. Um, flashback is an alternate cost, and they're also not casting it from their hand, so there's two different reasons why Omniscience isn't working here. <clears throat> but they do still get to cast unless they accidentally pick a spell. Like, plan the heist because it costs double blue. They're not going to be able to cast that now.
Yeah, they can't cast it because they can't add double blue with this. So it has flashback, two blue and two, and it's not in their hand. So they cannot cast it with omniscience. Yeah, that's an oopsie. Alright, we're gonna go to my turn just to make sure I can cast two spells here. Alright, um... Why do I have to pay for that? Oh, did I accidentally select the wrong thing? Um, there we go. I'm like, wait a minute, why do I have to pay? That's not right. Okay, that's fine. Still get to draw a card off Prom. Now we have a Hindering Light to protect our thing. And we have Vigilance, so there's no reason not to bash for five here. <clears throat> yeah, Vault Plunder is real good. They cast a spell targeting me if I'll or my creatures if I would hindering light and then hypothesis for the extra draw. I mean it's good, but we can outmuscle it with Chrom at least. Alright, Roxy's real good here, because now we get to kill their flying lifelinker. And yeah, I think I have to hypothesis now just to um, get the trigger so Krom can attack through their Sphinx. Plus we get an extra card from Krom, so... Um, yeah, I'd rather have all of these, honestly. Um, hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of just want to cast her and get another card out of it. Um, I can pull back the Razzle Dazzler. That's kind of weak. Um, like, I'd rather pull back her if at all possible. All right. Um, all right. Let that thing resolve first. See what happens. Ah, so I missed her entire draft and yep. how many games? Uh, this is game one. Hmm. Yeah, it's just Thunder Junction. I did not get Cruel Ultimatum. Well then. Alright, so they milled double down and left the other card on top. Um, makes it... A 4 power would kill the 3-1, which I don't mind that dying. Actually, yeah, this is all fine. <clears throat> this is not the thing I desperately need to Hindering Light. <laughs> Especially not why I can Shepherd of the Clouds it back next turn. Yeah, we just bounce harmlessly off of each other. And I wonder if I wanna 
No, I suppose not. I can just cast it next turn anyway. I was like, do I want to plot that then so I can double spell? It's like, no, you idiot. It's free. Why would you want to plot it? Because you want to take game out. You would like to give your opponent free information, information. about what exactly is coming their way. Uh-huh. Speaking mm. of what's coming somebody's way. Yeah, that's a 4-4 flyer. With the lifelink. Yep. And they have a lone shark. Mm. <clears throat> Which one is hindering light again? Could you have stopped Rakdos joins up? No. It has okay. to target me or a permanent eye control. Okay. And it was not a crime, so... Oh, cool, now the Sphinx is a 6-7 Vigilance. Terrific. Yep. Ah, oh, there we go, I can destroy their enchantment. And put a counter on each of my creatures. Want to play your creatures first? Eh, possibly. At the very least, I want to cast this one. Get back my one that draws me a card. And then draw myself a card. And draw myself a card. And draw myself a card. Your opponent has had a Yeah, my opponent's like, wait a minute. They have how many cards in their hand and this just happened? No. No, this is ridiculous now. I'm done here. <clears throat> Yeah, our opponent started off really good with the card advantage and then kind of petered out and we found all of our card advantage and started wrecking them. <clears throat> so in other words, it's how Omniscience goes? Yeah. Yeah, cool, we got a Braids for that. Hmm... <clears throat> <clears throat> Ooh, the first Mulligan's not free either? That's brutal. Hmm. Hey. Right. Three card hand, first Mulligan is not free. Ow. Hey. Right. <clears throat> well, play my Tycoon. I'm gonna have to try and beat you down. Hmm. Yeah, the, just mystical, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I was going to say, are they going to do something else, else now? Because <clears throat> apparently they can. Bovine intervention to stop me f before I get the token. Hey. Right. I mean, congratulations. I did it. Alright, I might just tether their guy now. Eh, I guess I still wait. Make absolutely sure that's the best play. Okay, I do still have a stop on their second main to stop them from getting to their end step. <clears throat> ah, he's adorable. No. No, your, your living card advantage engine with the most adorable smile and the magic scarf does not actually get to stay. Alright, since that's the last card in their hand, we're gonna exile the Wrangler now. And go immediately into top deck mode? Yep. Perfect. That's exactly the thing I need to top deck here. I mean, if they draw a reactionary spell, it's pretty good, because they won't be able to hold it against me. Or if they draw a discard spell and they try and make me discard instead. Oh, Jesus. That is way too good of a body here. And they yeah. get to attack... Although they get, they're going to attack me with lifelink instead, but that's got to be a problem in like a turn and a half at this rate. Yeah, it's not good enough here. Alright. One for four. I need to... First, I need to start drawing cards, then I need to kill their guy. In that order. Yeah, we're just dead now. I mean, I can hit card draw, but I don't have, like, a big catch-up spell 
So I'm going to need to just chain card draw together forever if I'm going to win this. Okay. Yeah, that feels like a mistake, but, yeah. That is 100% a mistake. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, it's not going to cost them anything, because I can't punish, but... Yeah, no, this game is over. Like, I can't attack into their thing, I can't block any of their guys. They're gaining life and dealing me damage with evasive threats, like, I am impossibly dead here. <laughs> like I said, there's a narrow window, if I'm still alive each turn, to just top deck massive card draw. <sighs> this, this doesn't even actually buy me an extra turn, because I'm still taking seven going to six, but... You know, maybe I draw something that kills one of the flyers, and that's three, four, five. All right, there's Hypothesis. We have plenty of things to discard. I have two Requisition Raids and a Fling, um, and none of these are good enough, so yeah, they can have it. Yeah, I need to draw... I drew almost all of my duds there between them having no hand and nothing on board that any of these interact with, so... Yeah, I would have mulliganed that hand if it didn't mean going to two cards. Fine, the event's free, right? Pretty much. Yeah, drawing all of my discard after they've already emptied their hand, and them having just big bodies and me having no interaction, no card draw, no big bodies of my own, which I don't really have. Like, I passed, I think the only one that I thought about was Cactarantula, and I think that's what I took Crom over. Like, because I wanted to draw cards, and Crom no, does a better I job. Think Krom is better at that. Cactarantula draws you one card, unless you can save it, then it draws you two cards. Mm-hmm. Krom will draw you as many cards as he can stay on the board for. Well, the last time Krom drew me, like, four cards, I think, before the opponent just decided they'd had enough playing Magic with me, because I had grip full of, like, seven cards. They were empty-handed. He did miss our first-round opponent having trouble with how Omniscient's draft works. Oh, cool, we're gonna get a draw here, because it says waiting for opponents over a minute. Yep. Nope, joke's on you. Yep, it's a draw. I know you can't hear the sound effects, wow. but it's 100% a draw. But they tried to use a slick shot lock picker to flash back a double blue card draw spell. Mm. And since it's not being cast mm -hmm. from their hand, and because they have to pay the alternate cost of flashback instead of the alternate cost from omniscience, so there were like two different things that were stopping them. Mm hmm. Yeah, this hand's super medium. Hey. Alright, oh, right, they're going first, apparently. Yep. And immediately cashing that thing in for treasure and a extra card. Well, none of these are all that impressive. Okay. That is yeah. horrifying in this format. Oh yeah, no, that's the card I'm most sad I did not get. Other than Cruel Ultimatum. Cruel Ultimatum is number one. Okay. Cruel Ultimatum is number one. Overwhelming Forces is number two. Um, this one's in, like, the top five, though, of ones I didn't get. I do have, uh, what's its name, though? Um, the Intimidation Campaign. So, I at least have that one going for me. <laughs> they milled Back for More and Tumbleweed Rising. And now they're going to Binding Negotiation and mill me three. Milled three removal spells. Uh, and took my biggest guy. Yep. I don't know. With their board state, I think I take the Nurturing Pixie, honestly. Nah, why would they bother to... 
Okay. Yeah. They I mean, got locked up for that. But And Mourner's surprise to get back their guy. And they can sacrifice him using the treasure. Yeah. Hey. Well, this deck just fired off. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, now I'm in a lot of trouble because yep. all my removal's gone. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah, my end was garbage compared to that. Like, if they hadn't have taken my card and if I had have had, like, any of the card draw spells instead with the Pixie, that would have been fine. But, because yeah, Bouncing Lone Shark is really good. Bouncing Loan Shark, Intimidation Campaign, um, my 3-3 three, three that draws me a card if I have big power when I had a 4-2 in my hand also. Alright. That's another good one I don't have. <laughs> yeah, zero mana, draw three, one of them's free next turn. That was the best one to plot, though, which means they wanted to cast the other ones. Although, you don't have to plot anything. So. Like, you can choose not to plot, which I think is probably better. Yeah, I think what we're doing. screwed up here. I mean, they're going to win, apparently. It's fine. It depends on what they draw. If they, like... Okay. Oh, way past their second spell this turn. Yeah. That's... Yeah, I think I'm just killing Krom here. Oh, you're certainly not killing that with what you have. I got Death Toucher. It's fine. Yeah, but you're not killing that with Hypothesis. Also, they'd like to put their card draw back I'm on the bottom of their deck. deck. Yep. to continue putting their card draw back on the bottom of their deck. Yep. High noon. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. That is disgusting. Hey. Well. I'm gonna hypothesis on now and kill Krom. Still. Uh, this town ain't big enough. Yeah, we're still killing Krom, because they can always get rid of their own High Noon. Mm-hmm. So, in order to get counters on him. So, rather than let them do that... No, that card is actually disgusting in this. Yeah, it's, it's only fine because of uh, so many of the things actually care if I can cast a second spell each turn. Hmm. Yeah, this is awkward. I mean, I have two requisition raids, so I can always um, get it back. Oh, you have now cast your one spell, opponent. Would you like to high noon? Oh, just gonna put your spider back on the bottom. They do have a lot of inevitability, but if they can't shuffle, I'm not super worried. Eh, 
Let's just run out the security then. That's true, I could have plotted the security so I could still double spell. Hmm. I wonder if that was spelling worth. now. Um oh no wait, I can't double spell right, because I'm it doesn't stop me only one spell per turn, not mm -hmm. doesn't care about where it came from. Alright, well that's a six two. Yep. That's fine. Alright, Razzle Dazzler. Do your thing. as much for the surveil as to stop them from constantly getting stuff back. Hey! Right. We're getting a mighty 77 seven. yeah as I was saying before this is way less impressive in this format where you always can pay the ward cost unless you had to cast a spell that required you to yeah use real mana to do it have another crom because they haven't shuffled are they gonna dome me for five so they can cast a spell yeah they are mm -hmm. hey yeah hey where's all my card draw at You mean now that you can finally use it? <laughs> I could always use it, unless it's literally the things. Alright, um... Yep, yeah, okay. Play the Outcaster. Draw my card. Okay. Return Pixie. That one. Pick up my outcaster. Draw a card. It's a pretty good one. Yeah. Okay. Cast him out. Me. I'd like to draw two cards, thank you. Hey. Right. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think we just consume the Crom right now. It's definitely the most problematic of their cards. Alright. We know the Krom is dead. I guess we let them draw a card off their 1-3 dying. Because it's really hard not to let them draw a card off the 1-3 mm -hmm. dying here. Hey. Oh, hey, it's Wrangler of the Damned. Oh, that's going to be super obnoxious. Is 
Because now if they don't draw anything they want to cast, they just get to make a 2-2. Or if it's an instant, they can wait and make a 2-2. Highway robbery. Okay, so no 2-2 two -two for them this turn. Discarded Decisive Denial, which is also very, very weak in this format. Like, the fight half of it is not terrible, but... Oh, uh, hey, third it's Krom? third Crom. Or they've cycled through their deck, which they have not. <laughs> and Jolene. Alright. Which is their third spell for the turn. <laughs> Yep, now they're going to put their stuff on the bottom. Sure. So why not? Uh, the biggest problem with this is my fling requires me to sacrifice my cool creature to kill anything relevant here. Alright, there's Requisition Raid. So I can destroy the O4. Put a counter on each of my creatures. Which would... The problem is I want to kill the Krom and the Wrangler, although they don't have enough cards in their hand. So Krom needs two turns to get online. Or they need to draw a card with whatever they... Yeah. They need to draw a draw spell. Ah, uh, that artifact. This player. I'm not winning the long game, so I'm going to start attacking them with stuff. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to throw... If they don't cast spells, I'm going to have to throw the uh, Beast Bond Outcaster at the 1-4. Oh, well, they cast a spell. Yep. Okay. But they won't be able to cast a second one. They're going to attack with Jolene here. Suppose we can remove the stop. Oh, they are going to attack with Jolene. Hmm. Hey. Definitely want to block. Do I want to throw the Pixie at any of their other creatures? Like Krom. I suppose this is fine as a trade. Yep, puts me to 8, puts me to 7, puts them to 22. Yeah, it's kind of why I have to kill Jolene, but I, I have to kill most of their things here, and I don't kill anything here very well. Oh, hey, Krom, how's it going? Alright, so play my Krom... Um, uh, hang on. Should definitely attack first, see if they do anything cool or stupid. <laughs> I mean, they can odd block the 8 8 if they really hope you have nothing. Nope, they're just gonna take in, try and kill me on the crack back. Eight. God, that's so close to killing them here. By throwing the 8-8 eight eight directly mm. at their face. <coughs> uh... Um... Or two can't gain trample, right? No. 
I'm thinking it's either the Wrangler in case they draw nothing, or Krom in case they draw too much. But if they draw too much, then I think I'm dead anyway. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, okay. I don't really want to discard Hindering Light here. Not when you are alive by the grace of Krom. Yeah, but I'm wondering if I cast him just to block the 4-2 on the ground. That you can do, because that now holds off their entire board. Yeah. I mean, everybody's got to run basically every card they drafted minus, like, five of them, so... Or so four there's always of them. a chance he draws a bad card? So there's always a chance they draw a brick, technically. That ain't a brick. Nope. That is the opposite of a brick. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I'm going to get to save my guy and draw a card here. Right? Well, oh, they're looking at it, so... Oh, no. It's just a Wrath of the Wolverine. Oh, well, that's adorable. Uh... See? They have a brick. They have a mountain in their deck? They didn't get any deserts, and they needed an extra card. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to draw some cards. Because they're getting close to all of the things that they put on the bottom. Do I know where they... Okay. Okay, they're still... They're a few more cards away than <laughs> I thought they were. Oh, are they going to saddle up this Gila monster here? Okay. And run it into a 2 2? Yep. Ah, that's not a spell I can counter because it doesn't target till it's in play. So I just die now. Right, so. Eh, no, you're not I'm dead. not dead, but I'm dead. <laughs> I've been dead for a while. Uh, and they hit Baron Bertram, who they can cast. Okay, cool. Yep, yeah, nope, super dead, because I don't have what's-its-name in my deck, and I wouldn't be able to cast it anyway, because... Actually, I would need um, the other what's-its-name. Oh, cool. You are late. You are so incredibly late. Okay, I just need to cast 11 spells that target them. They do have an artifact. And an enchantment. Hey. Oh wait, hang on. We definitely want to cast him first. So, that way so he gets a counter. Lifelink? Yep. <clears throat> now. Um, kill their artifact, kill their enchantment, target me. Auto pay. Bounce my thing back to my hand. I would love to take that action. Thank you for asking. So it does them in order, which means Krom should Krom get gets counter, a counter. Right? Yep. It 100% works that way. Oh, are they going to add the mana to draw a card with Bertram? Yeah. That's no. fine. You still targeted their things, and their enchantment is... Well, their, their enchantment goes away. Congratulations, you're still a target. Yep. Are they going to draw another card and look for an answer? They can't. He needs black mana to do his thing. Mm. Alright. Go, Intimidation Campaign. Put the fear of whoever that is into them. Um, oh, Pixie. Yeah. <laughs> There's also Unscrupulous Contractor, who's very tempting here. It's definitely one of those two. Um, the Pixie will pick up your campaign Pixie again. picks up the campaign, which is why I'm thinking it's the Pixie. I think they're having an I can't believe this is happening right now moment.
Hmm. I could also pick that thing up and pick back up the. Oh, uh, right. You can just pick up the shepherd. Is that better than you draw two cards. cards? You draw two cards, but it costs you two, two life. life. Or I can pick up this one and gain a life and draw another card. I think I want to keep chaining this thing as much as possible. It's questionable, though. Also, you could have made them draw two cards and lose two life and picked up your Intimidation campaign. Hmm. That's a little more dangerous, that but yes. That is very, very, very dangerous. Oh! Well, that's adorable. Because now I get to draw yet another card. It is disappointing that your Intimidation campaign, campaign. will not be there for the Pixies. Nope. Oh, hey, Malcolm. How's it going? Yeah, he's a little bit late to this one. Eh, it's fine. So, anyway. Uh... It targets them. Oh, that's true. It is... That's true. It does target them. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. There are no brakes on this train. And I do get a 1-1 counter. Um... My cards are left in my deck, 17? Good. <laughs> I can, in fact, kill them if this intimidation campaign does not stop. Also, they have no flying blockers right now. Malcolm has haste. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there do seem to be a little bit of breaks in this train. Uh... Right, stagecoach can't target your opponent somehow? Nope. Hey, right, I think I just hit them for two in the air then. Do I make them block with their 1-1? One, one? Yeah, it's probably I mean, worth it. You can. You, you have three other flying blockers? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, is I have enough other creatures now and enough life. All right. And the opponent is amazed that you finally bricked somewhere? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is one of those where they're like, Oh my god, that was insane. Well, that card didn't save them. Nope. By itself. Oh. Yeah, yeah. that card didn't save them. Can they cast the other card? Slung god it. damn. Uh, yep. Yeah. Now it's their turn again. Not only is it their turn, but it's their turn again. So... Mm -hmm. Draw two new cards, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's terrifying. Do they have the ultimatum? No, so they're just gonna sack her and draw two more cards. They made it to the... Because I can see the symbols. They are four cards, cards away, away and they just played and they just Yeah. Yeah. Well, they cannot okay. cast that now, yeah. Yeah, that's another massive buff for their guys. And a hypothesis to try and kill one of my blockers. Your Plus they're now open? into the now they're into the card, so now they're just gonna chain. Are they just gonna hit you with it, maybe? They can't. It's creature. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they've got this one now. Just barely, but... They managed to get to the other cards, so the Make Your Own Luck is going to draw them three cards that we know about already. So it's going to be those three. So they get to seize the secrets now. Unless they accidentally plotted that. You never know, they might have. Now they draw the Cactarantula and the Gigapede. And the Gigapede can kill the 1-1 Flyer. Ah, uh, we four. almost had this one, and we might still have this one, just barely, but... <sighs> they killed the flyer to try and kill me this turn, but... Wait, did their raven not trigger? No, they already did it. They hit me once already. I forgot he's once per turn. Yep. So they made 
Crom bigger? Yeah. Oh, because Fierce Retribution. Ah, Take for a Ride. And now... Wait, where did Take for a Ride come from? It was in their hand, I think. Or it was one of the cards that they discarded earlier. But yeah, now I have no flying blockers and they have six power in the air. Okay. Alright. Also, I did just realize they accidentally sacrificed their Crom, but I think you were still dead. Yeah. Yeah, they still just attack me for six with my own Crom and their bird. So, mm -hmm. doesn't really matter. Ah, we almost... I knew Intimidation Campaign was going to be insane, but... Mm -hmm. God, that was fun. Alright. Well. Don't really do much. I have a Demonic Tutor. I kill their thing and I attack them. I have a Demonic Tutor. Yeah, but your thing has to live and they have to play a thing that you can kill and they have to not stop that and they have yeah. to not win this turn. That's a lot to ask in this thing. Look, they only have cards from this set. And that is a 3 mana f uh, Am I killing the 4-7 instead because the 4-7's better? Maybe. Oh, cool. Now I get to kill their 1-1 Death Touch and their 4-7 and they have to block my 1-3? Okay. He's ambushing you. Nobody saw that one coming. Probably could have surveilled him with five five because they do still have to kill the one three. Okay, they don't have to, but hmm. Oh well. Yep, he's an O one now. That was always gonna get him though. I'm really glad now I didn't attack with a 3-4 also. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that would have been awkward. Okay. They, they just think whatever card they have... Whoa. Oh! Oh, Whoa, there man. we go. Alright. <laughs> okay, cool. 5-3 flying hexproof. Yeah, I'm going to need them to kill this first before I start getting all cute with the Nurturing Pixie and Intimidation mm -hmm. Campaign stuff. Because if I don't cast a spell, they can't target it. So... Mm -hmm. Well, that doesn't actually do anything to them. Nope. I was going to say, it's yeah, funny... They, they highlighted him and then their hand... Wait, who is that? Ah, uh, it's Gurid. The guy that makes tokens. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, this just wins. Yeah. Okay. Now he's doing as much damage as your guy was. Now they're drawing a card, so that could yep. be a problem. There's no edict in the set, right? Um, I don't think so. Not specifically an edict. Um, there are plenty of wraths though. I give him double strike. That's uh, pretty horrifying. Yep. All right, I might have to cast a spell now, just to not die. That was a pretty good spell. Yeah, it is. Also, I might kill them this turn. With Intimidation Campaign. <laughs> They're going to four. So, can... Is Visit Bandit you control? Yeah. Okay. Well, time to see what they've been holding on to. <clears throat> I would love to take action, thank you. Oh no! They killed him! And they must discard that now. Alright, so they're at four, they're at three. All you have to do is draw one crime. 
Yep. No, Malcolm, you're a criminal, not a crop. <laughs> um, copy the pixie? Copy the pixie, choose the intimidation campaign is the thing I bounce. Yep. <sighs> Alright, fine. They're at one. Because <laughs> I've already attacked them this turn. Um, yeah, no reason to let them have the card. <laughs> like, literally no reason to let mm -hmm. them have the card. And now your opponent can see this game because that was their card draw spell? Yep. And I have Intimidation Campaign in hand. I mean, they go to combat and attack first, but... No, no, now they rope. Come on, opponent. I know you're dead. You know you're dead. You have other games of magic to play. I'm starting to worry that Arena has crashed. Eh. Because it's taking a long time for their rope to appear. It just does that sometimes. Uh huh. So oh, it's still taking a long time for their rope to appear. There it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it actually, it always feels like it's taking a while until it finally shows up. Yeah, but sometimes it feels like it's not taking nearly as long as it should. Mm -hmm. Also, it wasn't like your opponent was highlighting anything or, you know, bumping their mouse or... Nope, they, they stood up and walked away from their computer in disgust. Because my deck is too awesome. They stood up and walked away in disgust that you had Intimidation Campaign. And that's possibly one of the least, um... Overkill things you can be doing in this? I don't know, I think this is just the right level of kill. Right, I said least overkill. <laughs> I can't overkill them, I can only do one damage at a time. I mean, I can finish the game where there were like ten crimes stacked on top of my deck. Where if you had have had 10 more life, you would have lost. Good game, opponent. Aw, oh, they didn't even get to rope you out. <laughs> yes. Alright. One more win. Ooh, that not I got gems. Time? Nope. That was two out of three wins. Because I did lose those other games. Ah, oh, man. It's a brilliant scientist. But only an average warrior, so I think we're good. Uh... I mean, it's two demonic tutors in a trench coat now. If I can target their stuff. That means I can go tutor my card draw spells. Or they can have a hollow marauder and take the last card from my hand. That seems pretty good here. Yeah, this isn't going to go well for me. Three five five. Honestly, like I know the mentality is, oh hey, I don't have to spend mana. It's a five five. Like you can have a free six three a lot of the times, or six five rather on the spider, and it'll draw you cards maybe. Primal command gain seven life uh, and grab a creature from their deck. Play an armadillo. Sure. All right, so we're basically dead to laughing Jasper here. We're very basically dead to Laughing Jasper here. Hey, right. Let's see if they want to trade any of their guys. They do want to trade one of their guys. Cool. Hey, right. Let's play 4-3. Get our 1-3 back. And concede when Laughing Jasper hits like a bunch of amazing spells off the top. Do they actually have to spend the mana though? 
Yeah, they do, but they got one of our card draw spells, so doesn't really matter. Alright, I turn with Speckles and Bulbasaur, and you seem to be losing this game. Oh yeah. No, my opening hand was two Servant the Stingers and this thing, and their opening hand was Laughing Jasper, this guy, and Primal Command. So. I'm like a hug from Bulbasaur. <laughs> Hello, Bulbasaur. Yeah, unfortunately, Krom's not going to be good enough here. Yeah, I think we can pack this one up. This one seems really hopeless. If I had drawn a way to kill Jasper and then attack with the Death Touchers to threaten tutoring, maybe, but... Yeah, this game's over. Like, it's not, but I don't yeah, know how long it's, it's going to take for me to lose. I give it, like, one or two more turns, honestly. They do have to spend mana to cast the spells off Jasper, I still give it one but... Or two more turns. So it's possible that they hit spells they literally cannot cast because they can only have five mana, but... Opponent goes first, my hand is garbage. There's such high variance between, mm -hmm. like, the good opening hand that's just gonna crush them immediately, and this. Opponent actually took a mulligan. Okay. I'm sorry, opponent. Also, my 4-3 doesn't even get back any of my guys yet. <sighs> they might be mulliganing for, um, like, Cruel Ultimatum or something. I'm not even kidding. Like, I would seriously oh, consider... I would seriously consider taking a mulligan just to get Cruel Ultimatum into my hand if it was in my deck. Yeah, I'll mulligan twice. I will, in fact, roll those dice, see if I can get my insta-win card in my opening hand on the play. Only because it's a free event. Uh, oh, cool, they're going to exchange control of my 1-1 one, one and my 4-2. Okay, so now that they've committed their crime... Uh-huh. Ah, oh, man, this opponent had a really rough time then. I mean, they, they have to have something to follow this up, right? They committed a crime for no other value. Mmm, they did that in the reverse order. Yes. Yes, they did. Okay. Well, I'll take four. That's fine. Hey, my turn. Oh, hey, Roxy. How's it going? So anyway, Roxy fell. Gathering up stars. It's a very nice collection. Would you like to see all of her collected stars? <laughs> hey, opponent. I'm pretty sure this one is over now. I mean, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11? Yeah, it's just over. We're gonna go for this one and see if it works. Unsurprisingly, it worked. Yep. Yeah, they're supposed to take my guy for a ride. They're supposed to take my 1-1 one, one for a ride and then exchange control yep. of the 1-1 one, one and the 4-2 so that they would just have my 4-2. Which would have been a very mediocre but still more impressive play, especially considering what you followed that up with. Yay, we got fancy artwork Platinum Angel. Right. Uh, eh, it's been an hour long thing. I think that's good enough. So we'll call it there. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good rest of your day. I will remember to raid Octo this time. What he's doing? He, I think he is playing that one game that we were talking about. Mm. You know how much he likes his gotchas. Yeah. But he did also say chill stream, just uh, come and hang out, so... Alright, yeah, so speckles. we'll end the stream when we get the raid off. Alright, there we go. See you next time.